Today we're actually going to go in with one of our two male Komodo dragons here. So we have two dragons, Rinka and Raja, and we're going to be going in with Rinka. Rinka's one of our adult male dragons here. He's coming up to 12 years old and he weighs in at around 64.5 kilos on his last weight. The first thing we're going to show is the recall to the den. This is a really important part that we do here at the zoo. This allows for a number of different things. One, for us to cool the dragons down at night. We can bring them in there. It's a slightly different temperature. It gives them a nighttime drop. But the main reason for this is it allows separation from us to keep in staff if we're doing work in there for maintenance or any other work and it's also an area secure for the dragons to go but one of the ways that we actually help do this and one of the key principles around all our training is something called target training. This is a really crucial part of our management of the dragons here at the zoo and it's basically how we move and control the Komodos and the basic principle is the dragons follow this coloured target, they touch their nose on the end of this target and when they do that we bridge that with a click to give them the nose is that they've done the right behavior and they get a food reward and that's really important both for us managing the dragons but also for their fitness and health it allows us to watch them climb and it encourages us to move them and then the final thing we're going to look at in the session today is to show how we desensitize the dragons so what we want is the dragons to associate the target to food not the keepers this tactile this desensitization work allows us to push the boundaries of their health and their care we can look at their condition we can check their body health we can do procedures such as nail clippings all this without restraint so this ability to be able to work in with them helps the dragons be calm with the keepers and it helps us push the boundaries of what we can do and how well we can look after the animals here this is always on his ground and like anything they have the odd bad day a day where he doesn't want to be disturbed and it's important we're aware of that and you have to adapt your husbandry but generally 90% of the time these guys are happy and enthusiastic to train and like I say it's a huge step forward from him from a dragon that couldn't be worked with to what we do now and it's a great testimonial to the hard work we put in but also the methodology that this training has a place and it really does work it's a real key part of our husbandry here and a real great tool for helping with our training.